How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the max width CSS property. So essentially the max width property allows you to limit the width of an HTML element. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a new div on this document right here and then control its maximum width using of course the max width property. So let's just create this div right now. So inside the actual source code, let's make a new div and give it an ID inside the body. So let's say div with an ID of something like my dash div. Okay. Inside here, let's add some dummy text. We'll put some lorem ipsum inside here, just like that. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get that right there. So we can see that the actual width of this div is the entire available width or horizontal space on the web page. So let's now limit that using the max width property. But first, let's add some, um, some basic styles to the div to actually see visually what's happening. So back inside the CSS or um, sorry, the source code, let's add some CSS rules for the my div element. So let's target the ID of my dash div and put some basic visual styles inside here. For example, let's give it a background color of something like blue, a text color of white, and maybe some padding of 10 pixels. Saving this and refreshing will now give us this right here. So we can see it's taking up the entire horizontal space. So let's now use the max width property. Back inside here, let's now give it a max width value. So down here, let's say max width, okay, and put something like 300 pixels inside here. Let's save this and refresh, and we get that right there. So you can see how it works. It's limited the width to 300 pixels as the property clearly states. Okay, so this is actually quite useful because um, if you were to actually resize the browser now to less than that amount, we can see what actually happens. So we can see that the width is still going to actually adjust to um, the maximum width. And that is the difference between a width property and a max width property. So the max width says um, essentially for any element that already has a width of 100%, such as a div, um, the max width says make that the maximum width. Otherwise, um, it can go less than that. So um, we can see right now this is actually uh, 222, so it's less than that. That's perfectly fine. If I was to actually set a width property on this element, we can see the width counterpart will actually increase and overflow on the side. So that is the difference between a max width and a width property. All right. And that's how you can use the max width CSS property. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.